Gottman called this physiological flooding, where it's not a conscious decision to behave in that way, but where our nervous system is just overloaded. Our heart rate goes up, um, our hands become sweaty, and our prefrontal cortex just switches off. It goes into that fight, flight, freeze response Johnny was talking about. So uh, it's not always a decision that we make to stonewall. It's our body taking over. And this is why it's important to be aware and to learn emotional regulation. The first part of that is to understand when you're in a heightened emotional state, to identify the triggers that put you into a heightened emotional state. And for a lot of times, for a lot of us, when we are consciously aware of it, it's already too late. It's like a, a car that is overheating. The check engine light is the subconscious, like, hey, you just hit some triggers, you're probably gonna be in a heightened emotional state. But once the car is steaming and broke down on the side of the road, there, it, it's already too late. The emotions are in the driver's seat and you're in the passenger seat and for you to gain control of where that's going to go is going to be a lot of work. You have to fight through all those emotions. For uh, our clients, it is one of the very first step in the X Factor uh, Accelerator for our clients to learn and identify their own triggers and mechanisms that puts them in that heightened emotional state. And let's be honest, again, to be on the receiving end of the ego bruise, that is criticism, to be on the receiving end of an argument that you weren't expecting, to be called out for something that you thought you might have slid under the radar, right? You thought the trash going out at the end of the day was going to be okay. You thought you got away with it. And all of a sudden, the other person is like, that really hurt my feelings. That really frustrated me. That ruined my day. I have been feeling this way for a while. And I haven't been able to say something to you. It may feel very good in that moment to self-soothe, while this physiologic response is going on to just like withdraw, to cross your arms, to close your body language, to look down, to avoid eye contact, to lower your voice and speak very meekly because you don't want things to move forward. But in actuality, it's doing a lot of damage to the trust that you've built in that relationship with the other person because they feel like they can't vocalize, they can't share with you, they can't communicate with you what matters to them in the relationship what behaviors and actions are important to them and how they expect to be treated. Mm -hmm.